Hey yo guys, it is me, K42, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different from what I've been doing as of late, and I'm going to be doing something more along the lines of kind of like my um, mod review series where I just kind of like talk about mods, but instead of like doing a review in-game that is like 30 minutes long, I'm just going to be quickly getting down the points that I want to talk about. So today we're going to be talking about Express, and there's a few reasons on why I want to talk about Express. Um, mainly to talk about the, its, its creator and um, talk about the mod itself. But let's just start by going through the format that these videos will follow. So I have done a hit or miss style of ranking for each design, sound, and animation of each character. So I'm going to go through that right now. For the designs, its hit to not hit ratio was a 9 out of 20 sounds, with 5 of them being good, 8 of them being pretty mid, and 7 of them being bad. The way it is, is that it's a full point for, it be for a sound being good, half a point for a mid, and 0 points for it being bad. So the designs score a less than average score, meaning that over half is just bad. Um, now we move on to the sounds. The overall hit ratio there was a 8.5 out of 20, meaning pretty significantly below half with four of the sounds being good, nine of the sounds being mid, and seven of the sounds being bad. And then we move on to the animations, which had a 10 out of 20 hit ratio, so perfectly half, with five being good, 10 being mid, and five being bad. Then we move on to the concept of the mod, where I talk more, a little bit more in depth about the mod. The main problem with this mod, and a lot of other Incredibox mods, is that it follows the quirky thing that everybody thinks I don't know. I don't get with mods, but there you go. They think that it'll be better if all the sounds have the roughly the same color scheme. Like every single sound and character in this in this mod are red and gray. And also, along with that, being scary. Like there are so many different Incredibox versions like this. So this is just cliche and honestly just boring. This is a big big criticism I like to give because come on. Color shows a lot, and having something like this, it's just boring. And again, cliche, because we've got Void, a monochrome, all these other versions. This, it's just very disappointing and very horrible, which automatically takes five points off of um, concept. There were some nice designs and some nice concepts, like the radio on the mouth and the no mouth having bass, but Overall, I'd give the concept of the mod a 4.3 out of 10. And honestly, if I were to go up or down, I'd go down. I cannot give it anything higher than that. In fact, I was bouncing between the 4 range here. So about 4 to 4.3. Averaging the scores out, you get about a 4.51 out of 10 and a 9.03 out of 20. I'm not a big fan of this mod, and I'd like to mention that I will not be including it in videos any anytime soon. I just do not like this mod personally, and I will not be including it in the videos. And also, the creator is uh, borderline insane, but I mean, if my voice sounded like that, I would be crazy too. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys understand, hope you guys stay away from Splatjack, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.